is facing unprecedented challenges. Climate change is altering natural balance. And our precious wildlife is struggling to survive. We are battling a new era of conflict and violence. There's the disruptive impact from digital technologies and shifting demographics with gaping inequalities. Now, a global epidemic is reshaping our world as we know it. We are at a crossroad at a time when our world seems so divided. Our world is struggling to breathe. For the United Nations 75th anniversary, we set out to ask the world, what are your hopes for your future? If you could choose one thing to say to the UN, to world leaders, about the future, what would that be? In January 2020, the United Nations launched a global initiative to have the world's largest conversation on the future we want. Discussions have taken place in all settings, from classrooms to boardrooms, parliaments to village halls across the world, in order to reach as many people as possible. The United Nations listened and the world spoke. Justice, equality and freedom for all. People can really be in peace and with dignity because our dignity was taken away from us because of our religion and because of who we are. And I hope that we are the last community who are suffering of those problems. Health is often looked at as an expense. It is not. It is an investment. We uh, change by exchanging without losing ourselves. We have run out of excuses and we are running out of time. If we don't stop the destruction of our natural world, nothing else will matter. More than ever before, we need solidarity, hope, and the political will to see this crisis through together. From what we have heard, the world is not as divided as we thought. The global economy, healthcare, sanitation, education, and the hardest places hit are our top priorities from recovering from the pandemic. In response to COVID-19, greater international solidarity is urgently needed. The threat of climate change and destruction of our natural environment is the biggest fear for the future. We need increased efforts to reduce conflict and violence, and we aspire to further protect human rights. For optimism about our future, we need to look to our young people. The overwhelming majority of us believe global cooperation is more vital than ever. Every time we fail to find solutions to global challenges, the most vulnerable people in our societies are hit the hardest. Throughout history, we have accomplished unimaginable things, propelling each generation further than the last. There is no limit to the amount of good we can achieve together to make this world, our world, a better place. The challenges before us are universal, and we know that these challenges demand global solutions. We have the blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The Sustainable Development Goals in 2045, the United Nations' 100th year, let's see the change we have implemented today that will shine a light on our children's tomorrow. Change is coming. The real power belongs to the people. And I want to turn the question inside out as well. I will not ask, how dare you? Instead, I will ask, do you dare to? This is the most urgent of times and the most urgent of messages. Now must be our moment for action. <laughs>